Hi, I'm Joanne Corey, and the work described in a paper by Meng Cheng and others in this week's cell began while Meng was a postdoc in my lab at the Salk Institute. We've been interested for many years in how plants respond to light in their environment. And because they're photosynthetic, plants have evolved a number of different photoreceptors and look to light for many aspects of inf information. So for instance, plants use light to tell them where they are, um, what time of year it is, and the time of day, etc. So plants do this by a series of photoreceptors which are defined by the colors of light they absorb. And um, these photoreceptors, uh, there's at least 10 of them in Arabidopsis, and the subject of our paper is one of these red absorbing photoreceptors called phytochrome B. Welcome to the Department of Biology at Duke University at Meng Chen. As Joanne mentioned that this project was initiated when it was a postdoc in the Cori lab at the Salk Institute. We continued to work on this project after I moved to Duke. My first two postdocs, Raffaello Gaval and Meina Li, are co-authors of this paper. In this study, we focused on one of the earliest light responses, the formation of phytochrome nuclear bodies and its role in phytochrome signaling. The inactive phytochromes are mostly localized in the cytoplasm. When photoactivated, they rapidly accumulate in the nucleus, where phytochromes interact directly with a group of BHLH transcription factors that are called PIFs. Together, they co-localize to subnuclear foci that are called phytochrome nuclear bodies. Light also triggers the degradation of phytochrome A or phi A and the PIFs. The significance of phi A degradation is unknown. Because most PIFs are negative regulators for phytochrome responses, the current view is that phytochromes regulate gene expression by mediating PIF degradation. However, how PIFs are degraded, and whether phytochrome nuclear bodies plays a role in phi A and PIF degradation is still unclear. In this paper, we show the first genetic evidence linking phytochrome nuclear bodies to protein degradation. Using a forward genetic screen to isolate mutants with abnormal morphologies of phi BGFP nuclear bodies, we identified a novel phytochrome signaling component, Chimera, that is also required for phytochrome nuclear body localization. This screen also brought forward a couple of surprising discoveries. The first surprise is phi A and PIF degradation are also impaired in HMR mutants. These results directly link phytochrome nuclear bodies to phi A and PIF degradation. Although HMR encodes a protein without similarities to known protein classes, its predicted secondary structure shows significant similarity to HHR23A, the human orthologue of the yeast protein RAD23 which is a multi-ubiquitin receptor involved in delivering multi-ubiquitinated proteins to the proteasome for degradation. We show that Himara functionally rescued RAD23 mutants in yeast, suggesting that Himara could act like RAD23 in phi A and PIF degradation. The second surprise comes from the subcellular localization studies of Himara. In a previous study, Himara was identified as part of the chloroplast transcriptionally active chromosome complex, which contains plastid RNA polymerases and is required for the expression of chloroplast encoded photosynthetic genes. Here we confirm their observation. More importantly, we show that Himara is actually dual localized, both in the nucleus and the chloroplast. This might explain the phenotype of the Himara mutants which is both tall and albino in the light, and also leads to the hypothesis that Himara could be involved in the coordination of both nuclear and chloroplast gene expression when plants first encounter light.